What is up guys? I am Cassie from Anchored by Books and today I'm going to do a book haul. I haven't done like a sit down talk book haul in quite a while. My last book haul was in like July and it's September now. So I've accumulated some things since then. So I'm going to jump right in. Late September, I went to the East Coast. I went to Washington DC and New York City. And while I was in New York City, I got a chance to see Hamilton. I went and saw Hamilton and it was everything I could have ever imagined. And some, I laugh, I cried, I sang. I was way up in the back and I did not care because it was worth every cent and I loved it. So I just wanna show you guys a couple of things that I got while I was there real fast. So let me show you that. First, of course, I got my little playbill. <laughs> my Hamilton playbill and it was, <sighs> I just want to frame it. I want to frame it because I don't want it to get ruined. So yeah, there's my playbill, super exciting. While I was there, I also got the 2017 Hamilton calendar, which I'm super excited about. And it has all the people. There's Lynn. And if you go on vacation, you have to leave with at least one mug. So I got a mug from Hamilton and all it says is Hamilton the musical, the American musical. You know, the little star and everything. Just a simple black mug, but I like my coffee and my tea, so I get to drink it out of this beautiful Hamilton mug. I haven't used it yet. I almost just want to like put it on display, so because it's so beautiful. So those are the things I got from Hamilton. So I'm just gonna move right on to the actual books now. So I got Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This I actually kind of started, but then I put down, so I wasn't really in the mood for it. This is a adult suspense thriller that is about a, a man who um, gets kidnapped and drugged and when he wakes up his life isn't what he remembered it to be. His wife is no longer his wife, his son has never been born, and he's living this life that he didn't previously have. So he's trying to figure out what the heck is going on. The cover is super cool but I mean it was interesting I just it wasn't what I was feeling so I put it down but I will be picking it up again because it's a very interesting premise. I also got Out of Darkness by Ashley Hope Perez. Now this is a very interesting book. From what I can gather about it, it is about a interracial relationship in 1937 Texas. And that's not something that really happened in the 30s. And I think this is about a Hispanic girl. And I'm not sure what race the boy is. I'm not super sure. This apparently is settled around a, it's kind of based on a true story. There was a, an explosion in 1937, New London school explosion. It was the worst school disaster in American history. I've never heard of this explosion. So this is kind of cool. It throws in some diversity as well as like an actual historical event that happened. So I'm actually looking forward to this because you know the whole talk of the diversify and diversity that happened. I kind of wanted to broaden my horizons, especially since I went to the East Coast. It really kind of broadened my horizons to all the different people that there was. So I did some research and I wanted to get a diverse book that I haven't really heard much about. And this is the one that I chose. I also got Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. I've actually met Kendar Blake a couple of times because she is from the Pacific Northwest. But this novel has a really, really cool premise. Not only is the cover gorgeous, it is about three sisters, three princesses, and um, only one of them can become queen. So they have to fight for their right to become queen and each have their own power. One's a naturalist, one's a poisoner, and one is a fierce elemental. So I think that's super interesting. I'm not, I'm not very sure how many books are to be in the series, but this might be my next read because I'm in the mood for some fantasy. A couple of weeks ago, I was at the Dollar Tree, just kind of looking around, and I saw this, Alexander Hamilton, The Outsider, for $1, hardcover, all about our homeboy, Alexander Hamilton, so I bought it. Will I ever read it? Who knows, because I feel like I know what I need to know. I just, I couldn't pass this up. I mean, come on, there's little illustrations and stuff. It was a buck, and it's retail for $16.99, so... One dollar, Alexander Hamilton. I can dollar. Founding father without a father got a lot father. I also picked up The Death Code by Lindsay Cummings. This is the second book in the Murder Complex duology. The first book follows our character Meadow, who, wow, I suddenly forgot all about this, all about this duology. I just read the book last month. Why can I not remember? Anyway, this is the second in, in a duology, so I'm not going to talk about it. Because first I don't remember, and second, it's the second book, so. Okay, moving right along. I also got Bird Box by Josh Mal Mallerman. This is a, I actually already read this book. Um, it's pretty cool, so when I do my next wrap up, I'll talk about it. But it's basically about this world, well, it's, it's, it's based in the US, and 
there's a scene going around where if you see it, it makes you commit suicide, like kind of makes you go crazy and kill yourself and other people if you're around them, but it makes you go mad. And it's really interesting. So if you go outside, you have to make sure you put a blindfold on or cover your eyes, make sure because the second you see it, you will go mad and people end up dying. So it was a really, really interesting concept. I really like this book. It's a, it's an adult thriller. I thought it was just super cool. It's about this girl who has two kids and she finally decides to get out of her house and go to the safe haven that she's heard of. And um, there was there were some twists. There were some twists in this I didn't expect. The ending, I'm a little disappointed in the ending, but overall it was a really good book. And anyway, I'll talk about it when I do my wrap up because I haven't read very much lately, but Bird Box, really, really interesting book. I also got Cam Girl by Lee Ra Raider. Leah Wright, I don't know how to pronounce her name, I'm sorry. This is about a girl who gets in a really horrific accident. She is scarred physically and mentally. And this guy approaches her and tells her about webcamming. And kind of reminds me of the girl in 6E in regards to like a sexual webcam kind of thing. She ends up doing that and she meets this guy off of there who offers her a lot of money that says, hey, I want you to be mine, nobody else's, stop this stuff. And apparently there's some drama behind it. So I really like The Girl in 6 e So I'm really interested to kind of see what I feel about this one. I also got Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. This is, is it adult or young adult? I think I've heard both. But all I know about this is that it's about an assassin. And I've heard it's pretty freaking good. I tried to read it, but the writing style is very different. I don't know how to really explain it. There's like these annotations at the bottom. That's kind of weird and it goes between two stories or something. I don't know. I read like the first chapter and I was really confused so I put it down but I am a sucker for anything fantasy and I've heard really rave reviews about it so Assassin, I'm in. While I was in New York I wanted to go to the Strand but I didn't realize it was in kind of lower Manhattan and by the time I noticed that I was already in upper Manhattan so I wasn't able to go back. <laughs> So I just went to a Barnes & Noble that I saw there, and I got Vasa in the Night by Sarah Porter. This has a beautiful cover, and from what I understand, it is a Baby Yaga, Yaga, what is that called? Yaga Baba? Yaga Yaba? I can't remember what it's called. I feel really bad. I don't really know too much about it, but some kind of retelling. Yaga, Baby Yaga, Yaga Baba? What is it called? I can't remember. But it's sort of like a retelling of whatever it is I'm trying to say, if that makes any sense at all. I've heard it's kind of a creepy, macabre kind of thing, so I was totally in. And why not get a book set in New York while you are in New York? I also got Forget Tomorrow by Pintip Dunn. This is a very interesting dystopian novel. This is about a world where when you hit the age of 18? I'm sure it's 18, 17, 18 or something you get one memory of your future and that memory basically lies out what the rest of your life is going to be and for this girl most people get like hey you're going to be a you're going to be a famous actor you're going to be a doctor you're going to work in a sanitation department or something like that but our main character's uh, memory is that she ends up killing her little sister and when the government finds out about it she gets thrown in jail and it kind of goes from there. Even though she hasn't committed the crime yet, it's still a crime because it's her future memory, which means it's, it's apparently going to happen and people don't change their futures. There's no way to change the future, apparently. Um, so this sounds really interesting. I have read a little bit of it, but I put it down because I'm in the mood for fantasy. Not dystopian, but fantasy. I also picked up The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. This is a young adult contemporary about a girl who was raped by her, be her brother's best friend kind of how she deals with that. It shapes her as a person. She ends up getting very distant from her family and angry. And um, one of my friends, Valerie, who has a YouTube channel, she read this book and she said that she liked it. So that's why I picked it up. So um, I'll have to pick this up next time in the mood for a contemporary. It sounds like it's gonna be pretty heavy. When I'm, when I'm ready to kind of hunch down and get something heavy, I will be picking this one up. And of course I picked up Harry Potter and the Cursed Child parts one and two. I already did a wrap up on this. Because I already read it. I don't know why I'm just now hauling it. Um, I'm not gonna really go into it too, too much because I'm sure everyone knows what it's about. It's the eighth story, not the eighth book, the eighth story. It is a script of the play that is in um, the UK and I mean I enjoyed it for the most part. I enjoyed it for what it was. I didn't like a lot of our main characters that we were normally used to. They were kind of rude. <laughs> 
but Scorpius is what made this book what it was. Not that that matters. This is a book haul, not a review. Here it is. So those are all of the books that I got within the last, so the last two months, I guess. Um, these are all the books that I acquired. So now I'm going to pick them all up. Hey, Pyre. <laughs> I try to do it like according to size. Ugh. Isn't always how it goes. Ugh. Oh, this is already getting difficult. I already start to fall over. Oh, but that coat is so far away. Okay. Oh, these are heavy because they're like all hardback. Here they all are. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So that is it for this video, guys. I will see you guys next time. Bye!